Hey you guys, so the other day I was at Petco and I was talking to this lady who was waiting for Cricket to get crickets with me. And she was get, picking him up for her lizard, her son's lizard. And she was telling me about how her crickets always die and she has to come back every three days to pick up crickets. And I was like confused, like why are your crickets dying, you know? And so I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to keep crickets to feed to your tarantula, snake, um, lizard, whatever you have. So, first of all, you have these crickets in the bag. I just picked some up from Petco. Um, and a big thing, I saw somebody on Tumblr who was saying uh, they kept their crickets in the bag overnight and the next morning they were dead. Well, yeah, <laughs> the crickets need air. There's only so much air in this little bag and sooner or later it's going to run out and you need to take them out of this bag before it runs out. So you keep them in a different container. I'm going to keep them in here, in this container here. And another thing is if you don't feed your crickets, they're going to start eating each other. People are like, oh my gosh, my crickets are eating each other. What do I do? You know? And that's because you're not feeding them enough, um, usually. And they'll eat each other because they're not getting any food. <laughs> and then sooner or later they'll all die of starvation because there won't be enough crickets to eat and you're just wasting crickets and wasting money and it's not good. So what you need to do is if you don't buy cricket food at the store, which they do have, um, you can feed them cat food. I have a little thing of cat food right here. It's just a little bit, just a tiny, tiny little bit. You put a little bit of cat food in there to give them protein and then you put some vegetable scraps like you can put cucumber peels or whatever. I'm putting little um, little bits of this old potato that I had. And it's just to keep them hydrated um, because you want your crickets to be filled with nutrients for your animal that you're feeding them to. So I have this thing and it has my cat food and my potato in here and I'm putting it inside of this little container. I'm going to move this down so you can see. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this piece of uh, egg container thing and I'm going to shake it and shake all the crickets off of it because I don't like to keep anything else besides their food in here because otherwise it's really hard to catch them when you want to feed them to your animal. And then you just dump your crickets on in, you know, make sure you get them all in there. And then after that you want to get a cover that has holes in it. I use, I like to use this bag. I have one over here from before. So I use an old bag just because I like to reuse things because I'm cheap. And it has holes poked in it. I don't know if you can see them, but there are holes in it. And I just put it over the container like this. And then I put a rubber band around it and voila! Your crickets should last a pretty long time. You might want to refeed them every week or week and a half or whatever. They'll be fine. I mean, you don't really have to do anything. If you if it starts to smell, you might want to clean it out a little bit, um, change the food. But you don't really have to do that much. It just depends on, you know, how much you want to do. <laughs> if you don't want it to stink, then you should clean it. Um, and that's it, really. That's all you have to do to keep your crickets alive. It's not very difficult. <laughs> So I hope that helps some of you guys who were having problems. Um, so yeah, uh, happy cricket keeping. <laughs>